paint can Sorry, but that won't work this time. Let's get right to it. Metal Gear Online for PlayStation 3 is now back online. It's been back for a little while, but I haven't been able to check it out until now. I'm going to show you how to play this online with your original PlayStation 3 console. Quick disclaimer, you'll need to either install a custom firmware or install HEN, which stands for Homebrew Enabler. If you happen to not own a PlayStation 3 console, don't worry, you can also play this through the emulator called RPCS3. It is a PlayStation 3 emulator on the computer. Alright, to get started, to install HEN on your PS3, we'll need to be using a computer. I'm using a Windows-based PC. What I'm going to do is going to create a new folder called PS3 Hybrid Firmware. And now we're going to go and open up the website here on your web browser. We want to go to the psx-place.com. This is a PlayStation dedicated forum. We will want to go and click on the mega.nz download link which will bring us to this page here. Now what we want to do is click on save, save it to where you like, but I'm going to save it to where we want to want it. So the PS3 hybrid firmware, and we're going to save it right here. This is going to take a little bit on mine. It was quite instant. Now we can minimize our web browser and now back in the PS3 hybrid firmware, we can unpack it here with seven zip. It's very simple. We can just hit extract here. As you can see, we have our readme file, our PS3 folder, and I believe that is the hash. Okay. So with the PS3 folder, everything is looking good. But our update file, and that's our hybrid firmware right there. So the next thing what we need to do is go into our computer, plug in your flash drive, as you can see, here's my flash drive. I'm going to right click, go down to format, name the volume label to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it new volume. I'm going to click on restore device defaults. And the main thing you want to make sure is FAT32 is selected for the file system. I'm going to hit start and, and, and I'm going to confirm that. This will take a quick moment. Boom. Okay. We're now formatted in file and the uh, file format bat 32. So we can hit okay and close this. Now with both windows open, it's very simple. All we have to do is open up our USB flash drive, drag and drop the PS3 file. This will take not too long, maybe about a minute or so, depending on your computer. Okay, now with the PS3 file and folder all good, we're just going to double check our work. So the PS3 folder, then you got to have an update, and then there's our hybrid firmware. So you got to have that in all capitals for each of the folders. Boom, we're looking good. Now what we can do is go to the bottom right corner of the screen, click on the little arrow, look for the USB icon, right click, and now we can hit eject. Now with that done, we can move on to the PlayStation 3 console. With your flash drive in hand, it's time to plug it into the far right port on your PlayStation console. Now on our PlayStation 3, we can simply go to the settings tab, go to system update, and now we want to select update via storage media, which is our flash drive. As you can see here, it has all the details that we like, Yes, with the X button. This normally doesn't take too long. Okay, now that it's checking for the update data, we need to press the PlayStation button on your DualShock controller. And now that we've pressed the button, as you can see here, it's going to take a little bit for it to install.
Now with the PS3 fully restarted, we can move to the network tab, go to the internet browser, and now what we can do inside the internet browser, we need to ensure things are clean. So what we want to do is delete all of these here, your cookies, search history, cache, authentication information. Okay, now we can back out and relaunch the internet browser. When you have the internet browser up, what you want to do is press the triangle button, go up to tools, go to home page. What you want to do to set the address, go to the function where it says use blank page, press X, scroll down and tap OK. So now when you turn the browser off and then back on, you'll be back at the about blank screen. At this point, you can press start on your DualShock controller. We'll have the little uh, keyboard up. We want to go to PS3 PS3 exploit.me as you can see I have mine here. So I'm going to press the start button. This will load it up. And now that we're on the PS3 exploit website, I'm going to zoom this in for you. Since we have our hybrid firmware ready for hen, you want to go up to the top left. Go to where it says PS3 hen and auto installer. Tap X. It will quickly download a file here. Download complete. Okay, very good. Now what we can quickly do is if you want, you can press triangle and then go to bookmarks and you can save this to on your bookmarks. As you can see, I have mine already here, but just for in showcasing, I made a second one for that. Now what we can do is press X on auto install hen. This may take up to several minutes for it to complete. As you can see that the uh, exploit failed. Don't worry about that, it's all good. At this point, we can press the circle button to exit, go back into our internet browser. And now we can go to our bookmarks that we just created. Go to the PS3 Hen Auto Installer. And now what we can do is overwrite and save. I would highly recommend doing that. Now that it's completed, let's go ahead and press X on Auto Install Hen. As you can see, the auto hand installer initialized successfully. It will bring us back to the XMB. Now what we want to do is continue with the download and install. Let it do its thing. Normally, your console would restart itself after doing this. However, mine didn't. So I went to turn off the console and then turn it back on. And now you have PlayStation 3 Hen installed. As we can see here, we saw the little hen with the egg. To simply enable hen on the screen here, we just need to tap X. It will take a moment here to load. And we are now gravy. You're now ready to install Metal Gear Online. All the links will be provided in the description down below. You definitely want to check how much space you have on your PlayStation 3 console. Give yourself about 10 gigabytes of buffer room. That'll ensure that the install goes smooth. Before installing, I had about 10 gigabytes available. Now, as you can see, I have about 4.3 gigabytes left. First things first, you will need at least one flash drive of the size of 8 gigabytes or higher. I'm personally using a 16 gigabyte flash drive. On your computer, you're going to go to this website here or check out the description down below. Now that you've clicked and downloaded the files, which is about 7 gigabytes, you will want to unpack them. You'll see me unpacking them onto my desktop as that's a simple place to put it. Now that you've unpacked the Metal Gear Online files, you will want to insert your USB flash drive. With your USB flash drive plugged in, let's access it. Mine's called New Volume J. I'm going to right click 
I'm going to look for format here. Click on it. I'm going to click on restore device defaults. As you can see, my file system defaults to FAT32. You can click on start. This will only take a moment here. There we go. Format complete. Now what you want to do is drag and drop the files for Metal Gear Online. This may take up to 5 to 10 minutes depending how fast your computer. Once the files have been saved to your flash drive, go to the bottom right corner, click on the little arrow, and then look for the USB icon. You will want to right click the USB icon and eject. With your flash drive in hand, it's time to plug it into the far right port on your PlayStation console. Now that you have your PlayStation 3 on, you will want to press X on Enable Hen. This will only take a moment. Now that Hen's enabled, you will want to scroll down to Packet Package Manager, Install Package Files, go to the folder that says Standard, and then press X on Metal Gear Online to PC Launcher. As you can see, that was quite quick. And then you can start with beginning to install the packages that are needed. So part one and part two. Now that you've installed all three files, all you have to do now is go to the Metal Gear Online 2. Upon entering, you'll see that it's downloading, ensuring that the latest update is available for the launcher. This only takes a few seconds. You will now want to go and press the circle button to exit to restart back to the across media bar and then relaunch Metal Gear Online 2. When we launch Metal Gear Online, now you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Your uh, PlayStation 3 is going to verify and check the game files. And then once the files have been checked, there will be an update that needs to be downloaded. So bear in mind, you're going to be waiting about 10 minutes here. While waiting for the verification and downloaded updates to install, it is a good time to go to the MGO2PC.com. This is the website to create your account. Go ahead, start filling it out, and get yourself ready for online. Now that the updates and downloads are complete, you will be brought to the ID menu. You will want to select the option that states, Enter Game ID and Login. Press the X button. You will now see where it states game ID and password. So the password and ID that you just made on the website, you will want to put those credentials in now. You will also see an option if you want to save this ID and password. I have enabled this, so but you choose what you want to do. You can now scroll down and press X on OK. You may be greeted with an error message. Just press the circle button and everything will be fine. Now that you're logged in, you can now start searching for a game. Select the start game function with the X button. You'll now be greeted to create your own character. For a game that came out in 2008, there's pretty solid amount of choice in terms of customization. Have fun. I also must say a big shout out to the Save Metal Gear Online community. If it wasn't for them, this would not have been possible. So thank you very much. Congratulations. You are now ready to explore and venture into Metal Gear Online on your PlayStation 3. With that said, thank you very much for watching. If you found this content helpful, please let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe. Have yourself a great day.